grasshopper had played in a fly Yo. Yo. <laughs> it's me. Okay, this mic's a little uh a little bit too much in the frame, I think. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Still, okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to set that up a little better so it sounds nicer, but I'm too lazy, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I don't like having it like right in front of me. Especially before I had it like right here and then I had to kind of look like this to see the full left screen. I don't know. What's going on? <clears throat> okay. Um, it is me again. And we are making, uh, continuing developing a video game. Isn't that Pog Champion? But for now, uh, Unity has to boot up, so I'm gonna play Minesweeper! Hey! Uh, Minesweeper! On expert mode, of course. Okay, I. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man, give me a fun seat. <laughs> Dude, some of these seats are horrible. Okay, so we know this is the, this shit. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, the beginning is pretty quick. Um, we can do this. Oh, that's a clean seat we got here. Okay, one of these is bomb. The song is a little scuffed, not gonna lie. But okay, it's it's over. Okay, one of these is bomb or mine, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, budget. Damn, that's a lot of. Mines here. All right, decent seat so far. Oh, I hate these. One of these is a bomb, but yeah, it's gonna take a while until I will be able to figure that out. Oh, well, I can do that. Uh, I can do that. That. That this is a bomb, so this is clear. This is clear. Okay, well, never mind. I forget it out. <laughs> uh, so, this is one of these is a bomb, but I guess I could have seen then that uh, from that too. Boom, boom, uh, boom. That's annoying. Oh, never mind. That's easy. Oh my gosh. Six. Meaning three of those four. Meaning these two. And one of those two. <laughs> well, so this is a gamble now. Really, dude? Uh, yeah, this is missing one. This is missing one. This is missing one. So one of these is... Uh, Oh, this is too much. Wait, I think I can zoom in a little bit myself, right? Well, never fucking mind. Okay, I think it's fine, probably. Yeah, it's a gamble. So let's do the gamble early so we don't fuck up too much. Fuck, we lost. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Okay, anyways. Let's proceed. I don't know, what was I doing last? Oh yeah, I made the, the goon. Enemy goon. I didn't look up any AI stuff or whatever, so I don't know, can't do that yet. 
I mean, I guess I could start looking. Oh yeah, I realized uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Last stream, I um, I basically positioned myself like th this to check out um, the animation of the goon. Every single time. I li literally consistently did that. <laughs> so it was constantly behind my fucking cab, which is pretty stupid. Okay. Um... We could give the goon some movement, huh? Okay, simple movement would be he moves towards the player. And we tell him to kind of keep a certain distance. We definitely make him slower than the player. Mm, yeah. And we can pretty much give him pretty simple movement, I think. I might still do it with uh, with Ed Force though. That might be fu funnier. On the other hand, we could also implement the player dying. Okay, yeah, we can implement so much right now. Uh, Okay, we could start with checkpoints. And for that, we need to kind of start setting up some shit. Okay, also projectile, let's put that in enemies. Death barrier background. Background is useless. I don't. F yeah, I'm not using this anymore. I don't think so. I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, okay, let's make a new folder, which is kind of like uh, data. I guess I just make a script named data, huh? <laughs> well, I should have level data and total data or something, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with level data. Boom. Level data is gonna be. Yo, wait. I just realized what the heck is up of this shit. Okay, yeah, it was a little scuffed. Um, this is a static class. Um, what did I fuck up? Oh, I just deleted that. Uh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I deleted class and replaced it with static. <laughs> Big brain. Okay, song, you're getting skipped. I don't know. I don't love you. Not gonna lie. Boom. Uh, wait, does everything work here? Yeah, that works. So, what? Dude, Twitch randomly took away the quality options for my stream again. Great. I love that. <laughs> I wish there was some consistency to it, dude. But no. It's just like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. You streamed two days ago, so I guess we're gonna take it away. But you streamed that one time and then you didn't stream for eight days. So yeah, here, here, here you go. Have your quality options back. <laughs> what? That's like the main pattern that I realized. If I haven't streamed in a while, I come back, I get, uh, I lose or, I, or have lost my quality options. I stream once, I don't stream for a couple of days, like, I don't know, six, seven days, I come back, I have my quality options back. <laughs> and then, a couple of days later, I lose them again, I don't know. I don't know how consistent that is, but uh, it happened now. Okay, um, we need current chat checkpoint maybe or something? Level data. It's gonna be per level basis, huh? I guess. Maybe I shouldn't, yeah, if, if I make level data on a level basis, then I shouldn't make it static, huh? <laughs> Probably. Shouldn't make it static. Okay, then it is not static.
Um, good. So that means, what do we need? Maybe a level ID. Let's start off that. Public uh, int level ID. Bam, whatever. Uh, let's also give, a, give it a void start. And on startup, it maybe, I don't know. It checks for the uh, level name or something. Wait, can I do that? That I just... Because uh, I could go into scenes and then read out the level name. Uh, oh, wait, <laughs> never mind. I think I can also... I thought it would be stupid to do it like that. I'm sure there's a command like scene or something. I don't know. Apparently not. Uh, okay. Unity get scene name and code. Scene management scene name. Thank you. Scene manage. Okay, thank you. It doesn't work. Or am I stupid? Did I mistype scene? Nope. Uh, scene dot main. Okay. What do I have to uh, import for that? Okay. Unity uh, engine dot scene management. Good. Um, scene management. So scene manage, uh, I assume it's manager. Then. Oh wait, oh, pro I probably can just say scene, right? Yeah, scene dot name. No. Dot. What? Scene. Dot. Okay, never mind. Maybe not. Scene manager. Dot. Scene. Okay, wait. <laughs> uh, here. Yeah, I don't care about all that. I just need the fucking scene name. Get active scene, okay. So, uh, level ID equals scene manager dot get active scene dot name uh, but then we have to take it apart how do you take the last get the oh wait never mind oh shit okay wait c sharp subtract string from another <laughs> of a substring from another string. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, cons of string, what, what is this shit? Why do people, like, I don't understand what it does, to be honest. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> Technically, I don't really know c -sharp, I just know Java and Unity. <laughs> so I guess that might be a c -sharp thing or something, I don't know. String, remove string, iteration. Okay, you want to remove iteration. Uh, int index. So equals source string dot index of remove string. Oh, okay. It's that easy. Uh, length dot remove string. Okay. Yeah. Yolo. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna yoink. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so uh, get hmm, private void get. Oh wait. 
Um, yeah, get level. I, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. I'm stupid. Maybe something like filter. Bullshit. Create level ID. Whatever. Bam. Okay. All right. Wait, what? Yeah, it's lowercase. This, is this guy even coding in C sharp? Oh, I think he just mistyped this or something. I don't know. String. What does constant, a uh, const, const whatever do? Okay. First of all, get, get the, get the fuck out. What, what do you do? Okay. I guess nothing. Uh, extract level ID, yeah. Extract level ID. That's what we are gonna call it, and you have to give it a string. Oops. String. A scene name. Okay. So we call that scene name. Uh, bullshit, we don't need that part. Okay. Source string would be. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Level. We wanna extract level. And it returns an integer, by the way. Uh. Yeah, this is the level. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. Level string. Nah, let's yeah, let's call it remove string. That makes sense. So it, it's actually logical. So string is scene name. Scene name. Scene name. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, what the heck are all these fucking strings? Okay, start of string is scene name dot substring to index. I'm sure it's gonna work. Okay, clean path is the Okay, yeah, yeah, that's because uh, the, the way the guy did it. So we don't need clean path, we need scene. Oh, wait. Level ID string. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then we take uh, return. How can I do that? Integer or something? No. How do you turn? Wait. How do you turn a string into a an integer again? C sharp turn. Oh, oh, convert string int. Yo, that's so much. What are you doing? What is all this? Jesus, chill. Try this int x uh, okay int integer thirty two dot parse okay parse is the thing yeah try parse try parse probably just only does stuff if uh, yeah okay we wanna do try try parse just in case int uh, id equals zero yeah this is also uppercase id. Then uh, id equals int32. Why do I not have that? What do I have to implement for that? Dude? Import, I mean. It's annoying. I remember I used that already. Integer. No. Oh. 
That's weird. What's the problem? What is the issue? Um, okay. So show int 32 try powers. Do I need to import anything? I don't know. Namespace system. I've got system. I guess I only got system.collections. I don't know. Should I just do using system? Pint. Yeah, now it works. Okay. <laughs> try pass. Uh, that just needs a string, right? Level ID string. What's that? Is that what's what's all this shit? Holy shit! Okay, let's see what tried pass actually does. Oh, okay, out. Okay, yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously, I need that. Out. And ID. Is that how you do it, or do I leave uh, that out? I think I did something wrong. I don't know what. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm breathing. No, wait. That should work. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how I do it. What's the problem? What the heck is value? Variable value in values. Okay, I get it. I get it. So what's what what am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, that's that's God damn it, dude, You're stupid. Return uh, ID. Okay, and now we do level ID equals extract level id scene manager dot get active scene dot name and then you know what we just just tried out we do debug dot log uh, level id Okay, now we have the menu. Let's just put it on the menu. All right, never mind. We, we just make a new thing that's level data. Also skip that song. Where the fuck is it? Here. Um, okay. Level data. Put that all the way to the top. Set that bitch and put on level data. And that should give us a one. No, it didn't. Oh, it did. But the other thing was slower. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should clarify what the fuck those things mean. I don't even know. Ah, here. Okay. Uh, joysticks connect con
Okay, now we have that handled. Um, current level ID. No, that should work. Current level ID one. Nice. Okay, that was easy. Now we have the level ID. Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> I did it. We can do it now. Okay. Um, yeah, we now have the level data saved. And we also don't need that anymore because we know it works. I guess I can just get rid of that. Um, now I want to save a checkpoint. The last or last activated checkpoint or current checkpoint or whatever. Uh, which would be, would that be a game object or would that be a position? I think that's a position. Vector to last or like active checkpoint. Um, let's also give it a static, yeah. Public static level data. Um, active level data. Which will just allow us to uh, do that, wait. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Active level data equals this. Okay, that allows us to, every time a uh, scene is loaded, access the active level da data. Um, okay, active checkpoint. What would the active checkpoint be? Uh, I guess I, I don't know, I make a checkpoint script. Okay, scripts, um, data. Checkpoint. Um, okay, so every checkpoint knows if it's active or not. Uh, yeah, and I guess then that's most of it. <laughs> we need a script to uh, update it. Yeah, uh, uh, method which would be private void um, set active. Checkpoint. Just so we don't confuse it with any other methods. Selective checkpoint, obviously. Um, and that, what is that gonna do? Okay, it's just gonna say level data dot active level data dot active checkpoint equal uh, is transform dot position don't you dare cry thank you <laughs> sometimes it cries that you're trying to convert a vector 3 to a, a vector 2 
unfortunately not this time. Well, I think it only does that the other way around, like if you try to uh, convert a vector 2 to a vector 3, because they can't just fill in a 0 or whatever in the last one. Kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, that's all it needs to be, huh? Yeah, and then something to enable it. Um, so maybe on collision enter if active checkpoint is false and collision dot game object dot tag maybe we do it the other way around okay uh, player bam bam what Stupid. <laughs> uh, equals player. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> uh, equals equals. God damn it, dude. What am I doing? It's like I forgot how to program overnight. Um, so if a player collides with it and this is not already the active checkpoint, then set active checkpoint. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, now we create a new object, which is gonna be a checkpoint. Um, which has a checkpoint script. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do another thing. Uh, Void awake if okay I think start is enough then right start uh, if active checkpoint uh, how do we get the player? Technically, we could literally just uh, get the player, save the player in like player st stats or states or whatever. Player stats, maybe even. I think I'll do that. I I'll do, do that. Public static player. Uh, yeah, maybe I should, uh, what do we do? Player. What? Oh, I don't have a player script. Yeah, I'm stupid. So it's a transform player. And on start we do... I didn't make it a static class, I guess. Yeah, I think I did that on purpose. I don't remember why. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> because I'm using a ton of stuff, yeah. Oh, I don't even use that at all as a static, so it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, you know what? Um, player state. I guess the player state is kind of the the one where I do stuff like that. And in the start function, could also, uh, I, I, I'll do it in the start function. 
so... Actually, never mind, I can't do it in the start function. Or is there a late start? I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not thinking. I could wait. I, I'd rather put it, because the problem is with a wake, I think that's get, that gets executed the moment it the objects uh, get spawned in. Meaning other objects might not be spawned in yet, but I'm not sure how it works. So I'm gonna put it in start, so... Uh, player state... Oh. State dot player equals find oh wait no game object dot find player okay okay the transform which also allows us to put the player transform just get the fuck uh, get rid of that because we can just uh, use the one we have saved which would be players fuck the player state the player Okay. If active checkpoint, first of all, we do um, wait for end of frame. Easy clap. Whoop. Do we need this in a. Hmm, never mind, maybe that doesn't work. Unity late start or something initialize after start yeah is that the best way to do it that's insane i have to start a numerator that is the method method name in time seconds what if time is set to zero the method is invoked at the next update cycle in this case it's better to call the function directly the better performance and main main stability use coroutines instead Roger projectors in two, uh, projectile in two seconds that's pretty cool that you can do that it's super useful actually <laughs> But can you only do that with seconds? Because that's kind of whack. I want to do it with frames. I guess I do a core routine. Uh, wait, what does he say? What's that? Why, is, why are there all these anonym, anonym, anonymous, anonymous stuff? It is automatically called between awake and start. What is that? It has a built-in system to control the order in which things are processed. Oh, that's useful. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just use that. It makes way more sense. Okay, if active checkpoint, then player state dot player dot position equals transform dot position I might change the that way uh, that 
again, maybe like the checkpoint will have a certain designated position where the player spawns. Okay, this just makes so that the player automatically gets teleported to the currently active checkpoint at the beginning of a level. Uh, yeah. Now, what did this guy say? Project settings, uh, script execution order. Uh, project settings, script execution order. Can I not like get a list or something? I don't know. Whoa. Dude, I have to add them all manually? Come on, man. I guess I do that, huh? Is that all the scripts I have? I guess it is. I don't even have that many scripts, huh? Let's add checkpoint. Let's add... Uh, player stats. Level data. All the important shit. We don't need projectile movement, that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, checkpoint. No, we need player stats first. So, you are 100. Oops. Checkpoint is 200. Level data is 300. Why did I add that? that was that a misclick? <laughs> I don't need the Twitch button. Uh, wait, what was in level data? Okay, uh, first of all, set active checkpoint should also say active checkpoint equals true um, yeah so on start if active checkpoint we do multiple things and that is obviously uh, teleport the player and say level data dot active level data dot active checkpoint uh, bullshit I'm stupid set active checkpoint <laughs> so that the level data also knows that I am the active checkpoint okay now you know what I think I'm just gonna uh, hit level data this is a checkpoint uh, meaning active checkpoint is just this okay um, now we need also a set active checkpoint you know what, let's say bool state. And then we just say state. And we say true. Uh, and we say, this one just gets executed anyways. So that we say active checkpoint. That's all I need, I think. Apply. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm 
gefördert sein. Uh, now, checkpoint. You need a, I don't know, sphere collider or something. What's the most efficient collider? I think sphere collider, right? Oh, wait, circle collider, I need. Or 2D. Could check. Uh, Unity most resource efficient. Uh, box collider with sphere collider overlay, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm creating an RTS and I need to know what is easier for the computer to compute as a trigger, a box collider or a sphere collider, uh, or like a sphere overlay, whatever that is. Jesus. Jesus, look at that guy. That ass. He, <laughs> so this guy, asks he links another post where the same guy answered that guy by saying sphere and links him to another post which okay is kind of a yeah whatever they're discussing it i thought so yeah sphere uh yeah sphere, sphere collider it is okay let's say this is a trigger and i guess i don't know you can do stuff with that uh, let's move it somewhere. Oh, I can't really move it because it doesn't have an object that I can see. Minus one, two, maybe. So, oh yeah, if I say active checkpoint here, and we click that, then it should teleport me there. I don't know if it did that. I don't think it did. No, it didn't. What is the problem? Object reference not set to an instant of an object. Set active checkpoint, active checkpoint. What? Oh. Because I load level data after that. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should load level data before that. That makes sense. Probably. Right, yeah, let's do that. Edit, um, uh, so this is 200, apply. Now we get teleported. Yeah, got teleported. Okay, now, a checkpoint should have a little bit of an image. We could go kind of for the Mario wipe with the flag. Then animate the flag a little bit, you know. Dude, I just realized, dude, on stream, my nose looks so red, but it's only mainly, I think, the shadow. Yeah, it's, I think, just the shadow that makes it look so red. I think I should just put my uh, lamp in front of me. Just so I'm super annoyed by it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, good. This again. Oops. But in that part. Okay, thank you. Um, let's draw a flag. I also don't need this anymore. Boom. Uh, Go to here, here, here. I've got a bunch of random ass textures here. Let's go to hard. Make a make a folder for hard. H U D. And put this in there and this in there and this in there. Then Make a folder projectiles. Put that in there, and that in there, and that. Oh, that wasn't even, yeah. Yeah, laser tent. I, I think the laser tent can go in there. Shockwave is also a projectile, why not? <laughs> uh, and then let's make another folder. 
uh, for objects, which is gonna have this and this, and then let's make another folder for, uh, what do you call it? Like world objects, the world, the statics, the environment, I don't know. <laughs> Right. Then, yeah, this switch icon. Let's put them in the world. Why not? Okay. Um, open this in Explorer. Uh, I mean, we have to. Yeah, we have to do a. Okay, I changed. Um, my taskbar to hide and I don't know I'm not I guess I'm not used to it yet maybe it's, it's gonna happen but so far it's annoying me a lot <laughs> say 16 by 60 for now actually it's gonna be higher 16 times 32 oh I'm stupid get rid of that also, I think I don't need that much many pixels, right? Um, I'm gonna keep 16 bit. Yeah, yeah, 32. Bam. For now, I can scale it down if I need to. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do a flag. Nothing else. Just a casual flag. Just gonna have, I don't know, a, a metal base. Something like this. Boom, boom. Uh, go a little bit darker. This looks weird so far. Oh well. Let's see. Um, and then brown. Wait. God damn it, dude. Wood color. here I'd rather want uh, would like a darker wood what do we take here I feel like this is too bright this is too dark I can modify it why would it do that god damn it let's go a little brighter here That looks a little scuffed so far, but yeah, I guess so. Maybe that kind of works. We'll see. Okay, uh, let's give this motherfucker some texture. Which we're gonna do like this, yeah, yeah. That is too much. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So let's go to the cap. Uh, how are we gonna do the flag? I guess we could make it a mogul moves flag in in the theme, you know, like with Mario flag, which is also in the theme of Mario, surprisingly. Mm. I'm just gonna for now I'll make make like a one colored flag. I realized I made it way too thin, didn't I? Ah, I can move it over. <sighs> Wrong button. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Let's just make it green, maybe, for now. Uh, just a little bit brighter. Okay, I kind of want to make it a, an animation. Or do I? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think I know something. What I want to do. So, oops. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I want to do. gonna be green for now because I don't have a better idea or do I want to do like something like this no that yeah yeah actually yeah that's perfect or do I want to do something like this not really uh, image canvas size let's do the width times two resize Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, shopping. Okay, now this, we could just flip. We could just take the flag part. And just be like, yo, yo. That looks weird. We'll see. We kind of have a f moving flag. <laughs> yep. Okay. Export. Uh, check. Point. Flag. Active. Active. Oh, maybe I should uh, save it on the right location. Was it objects here? Okay, now we'll make a version that's off, which would be, yeah, I think kind of like the same color, but uh, without color. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, duplicate that real quick. So we don't lose it completely. And then kind of like this, you know, like it's hanging down. I don't know, it's a little ugly, I know. And we definitely have those two points again. Okay, actually, uh, wait. I would, I would like to have the flag poles on this layer. So now we can do this. Get rid of this. Uh, okay. Maybe something like this. This is awful. I did the dimension wrong. That's okay. Yeah, that's a turned off. Yeah, okay. Okay. And we take that and we copy it over here and uh, then we, I don't know, change it a little. <laughs> what does a turn? Hmm. Oh, also I would like to do this and maybe, I don't know. 
this. You know what? Maybe this looks better actually. Because it's hanging down. We maybe even remove this part. I think that's cooler. Uh, and it should move a little bit. Or we just don't make it move. <laughs> that could also work. Ah, you know what? Never mind. Let's just make a move. Just for fun. It does what how would it move? Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'd try that. Why not? Bam, export as active bin active. Okay. So now we tell him this shit. Max size. What is this max size, by the way? I don't get it. What does it say actually? Is it like pixel? Pixel count? Pixel. Oh yeah, the size, yeah, yeah. So 2048 times 2048. We have 32 times 32. Uh, now the thing is, our texture is 32 times 32. Perfect. <laughs> Forget what I said. Apply that. Bam, 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 bam. Then uh, and say bottom because I like that and slice. Fly. Wait, what? Did you do? Oh, I'm stupid. 16. Bam. By 32. Yeah. Slice. Fly that. <laughs> okay. Now we have that. We do the same thing here. Can you see even? Uh, yeah, you can. A little bit at least. Uh, 16, bottom, slice, fly. Cool. Memorize it. Okay. Now we take these two and we say uh, check point active. Uh, and we save it in animations. I might have to sort animations too at some point. <laughs> it's getting a little messy in there. And this is checkpoint inactive. Okay. Uh, we can delete this one and this one. We tell this boy uh, you need an animator and a sprite renderer. Uh, we slap that here. We slap that all the way. I guess not. We slap that all the way up here. Okay. Um, now where the fuck is the? Oh yeah, it doesn't use any sprite. Okay, so we're just gonna give it this for now. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I will tell this thing to go center. Apply. And center, apply. Okay, because that would mean that this is in the center. And then we can just be like, yo, 
50. Yeah, that makes it bigger. Uh, I would like... Would I? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I want it bigger. So let's say 25. It's a good size. I'm fine with that. Let's give it a little bit of a bigger radius of like seven, six, yeah, seven. It can be. Give it a juicy one. Uh, I would like to offset the sprite one, the two though. Oh yeah, I can just offset the uh, hitbox. <laughs> um, by how much? 0.5. Okay, that is way too much. 0.5. No. 0.1. 2. Yeah, that two is good. Okay, now. Uh, animations. It's getting chaotic in here, dude. I can just do this. Checkpoint active. Open. Which is that? Make a new state. Call it. Checkpoint inactive. Slap checkpoint inactive on here. Okay, now make transition, make transition, uh, add a parameter that is active. Oh, let's call it checkpoint active. Checkpoint active. So if checkpoint active is false, we go over. If checkpoint active is true, we go over. And say, I don't know, let's test out 0.25 as a, an animation speed. Okay, that's all we need for now. Now, we need to handle that in the actual script. Private animator. Uh, model. Why not? Call it model. Because I always call it model. <laughs> Um, model equals get component oops, animator. Uh, okay, now here we say model dot. That bool checkpoint active state. Easy. Okay, so now it should... What? What did I do? What the heck did I do? How did that happen? <laughs> oh, okay. I can definitely see one thing. Wait. Uh, textures. Objects. 
I somehow managed to only pick this one when I said center. Fly. Uh, and same here probably. And then I can as I assume something went wrong. Model that set bool. Okay. Oh yeah, because I executed before I set the. God damn it, dude! That's stupid. Okay. Now it works. What? Oh, I didn't make that one bigger. Yeah. How big? Twenty-five. Now. <laughs> Hey, look at that! Okay, now, however, this position is kind of kind of sucks. I want this to actually stand on the ground, obviously. So I don't know. Put it here. Yeah, yeah whatever. Is this on the ground? It is. Cool. Oh, and the sprite is behind me. That's also very useful. Okay. Now, let's make this a prefab. Bam. Now oh, you are a prefab. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... We make another checkpoint that we put here. Oh, you also need to disable the last checkpoint. So level data uh, dot active level active checkpoint. First of all, dot set set active checkpoint false. And then equals this. Easy. So this one, oh right, uh, hmm. I should probably do this, and then apply all. This one is the one we have active in the beginning. Okay, we should also add this to the world. Okay. Okay. Something went wrong. Shit! I need to... I think I need to change that. How? Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh... If you know what, never mind. Level data. Uh, yo, you are just like some random ass new checkpoint. I don't care. <laughs> just get deleted immediately. Wait, what? They do not like that. Oops, you're trying... Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I get it. I guess I just have to check if it's not... If... Level data dot active. Level data dot active checkpoint is not null. Then we do that. Otherwise, we don't. Easy. That fixed the problem. Fix us. No problem. It doesn't. Stack overflow? Ha! Huh? Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made it a loop, obviously. I'm so stupid. Yeah, I've completely fucked that up.
Okay, we only do that if... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> if state, then we do all this shit. Otherwise, we obviously don't. Because, like, we don't want to edit the active checkpoint if we are getting disabled. Then everything happens for us, basically. Or for this thing. We just want to do this. Okay, yeah. So only if we are getting enabled, we actually execute the other shit. <laughs> yeah, now it works. Okay, okay. Now we have one checkpoint and now I should be able to walk over here and it doesn't collide. Poggers. Poggers. Why? Yo. Why? Uh, okay. Let's see. Why? <laughs> Why is collision so fucking weird every single time, bro? Come on. Why does it not work? Effector. What's an effector? Is that a... Yeah. Okay. Never mind. You don't need that. So why does it not collect collision? Uh, detect. Okay, maybe it does and let's try that first. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, let's uh, execute it here. Debug. Lock. Got executed. That does not seem like it got executed. I just realized that if it Oh my gosh. Okay, so if we are walking into a, an enabled... Oh yeah, it already do that. So if, uh, if the checkpoint is already enabled, then I don't even execute it. Okay, so it doesn't get executed. That's a problem. Um, why? Why are you like this? Come on, man. Not cool, bro. Oh, maybe it's uh, because I on collision enter, not... Okay, maybe I need on collide enter. Wait, right. On collide enter, collision enter 2D. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. I did that wrong again. Collision enter 2D. Debug that log. All good, chief. I am not seeing an all good chief. That is not good. Maybe it's collision. 
Yeah, that was just me being stupid. On collision, enter 2D. That's the right one, right? On collision, enter 2D. Just be sure, because for some reason this was this is white. Oh yeah, because I did that. Okay, I get it. I get it now. It doesn't work. Right? It does not. No, it does not work. Why? Why do you not work? Just work. Five hit. Come on, man. What if I do that? Okay, I'm not colliding at all with the collider in any way. Oh, I also, yeah, wait. Whatever. Yeah, exactly that problem. But hey, the collision works. Good. Okay. On collision. Stay. Exit. Oh, on trigger, yeah, right. It's on trigger, right? On trigger, yo, I'm so stupid. Dude, I haven't done that in a while. On trigger and to uh, D. Oh, wait, what's wait, on trigger and to D? Just to that. Too lazy to write it myself. Bam. Oh, it was already correct. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Now we should see an all good chief. Perfect. And we should be able to walk over there and be like, BAM! Look at that! Also, this flag animation looks pretty bad. I just realized. This does not look like a flag. I guess a little bit. But not perfectly. No, absolutely not perfect. Okay. That's it. That's all we need. We do need to delete this because it's spammy as fuck. Okay. Um, then we need to go to textures and uh, objects. Never mind. We actually just need to open game. And we. Oh, I'm super. Go like this. That should work. No, I fucked up. Good thing I had it saved, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're active. That's it. Here, this one. Bam, bam, bam. That works. It looks a little scuffed, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, hmm, somehow it patched out the movement, huh? Huh? 
How though? Okay, I think I see it, yeah. I see it, okay. I see the entire problem with the entire thing. So what I did is stupid shit anyways. Never mind, let's just not do that again. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. This one is like this. Oh yeah, because I mirrored it and that's all I did. <laughs> that was all I did in the first one. Now. We keep this The same? Okay. Yeah. Now it looks super scuffed. Now that's scuffed. Oh. What am I listening to? Too much energy. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, you know what we just do? We uh, increase the canvas size by one. Just take one and slap it here. And then we uh, take this and uh, cut it out, flip it, move it. Okay, and then we flip these things. How did I fuck that up so badly? Yeah, I just flipped these around. Wow, congrats me. You know what, let's do it then, whatever. Let's just flip them straight around and see what happens. Need to make a new animation, really, dude? Come on, man. Yo, what happened there? Yo, what the fuck is that? Huh? What? What's going on? Why is it so scuffed now? Whatever. Oh, I moved it. Oh, God damn it, dude. That. Slice. 16. 
32 center slice. Okay, apply. Now we have a couple of those. I don't know why it's so scuffed suddenly. These aren't so scuffed. What happened? What the fuck happened? Suddenly the resolution is completely messed up. Huh? How does that happen? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, it's, it's just deleted straight up. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, delete it. Fuck you. Save it again. Oh, right, I have to do all this stuff again. Oh, because I said 32 maximum. Oh, yeah, right. That was me. <laughs> Now the question is, does the animation automatically pick up on the new textures or does it like say no? No, it automatically picks up. That's good. No, it doesn't. Huh? No, 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 it doesn't. Don't use the old textures. How? 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 It's crazy. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Do I have to redo the entire anime edit? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. I don't live stupid. Checkpoint active. Why is checkpoint active so scuffed? Let's just make a new checkpoint active. Where is it? Checkpoint active animator controller. Checkpoint active animation clip. That's the one we want to delete. Bam. I don't think we need that one, right? We don't. Delete. So this one's uh, missing the, the thing now. So let's take these, slap them in here, uh, into animations. Checkpoint active. Delete that, go in here. Oh, I fucked up, I just saw that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fuck that, okay. I kind of fucked up, oh well. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't, I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, I'll, all good, all good. This just opened the animator. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's just the wrong animator, but I, I don't need that animator anymore. We need this one, which is gonna use this thing here. And then we go to animations and we delete uh, this one. This one? This one. Delete. No overrides. Okay, all good, all good. Because it didn't change anything about this, uh, this boy, obviously. Uh, okay, now let's see. Looks a little scuffed, but it's fine, probably. Let's make it faster. How fast can we make it? <laughs> oh, that's slower, I'm stupid, I'm five. That's okay.
This is an awful animation, but who cares? <laughs> I can change it any time. Let's maybe also make it faster. Why not? Yep. Look at him go! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now the player gets a kill function. Uh, yeah. They can be executed. Uh, which he will have in player stats. motherfucker has the player stats script attached. I can literally just say transform. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Whoopsie. I was basically a script on the player was searching for the player object to, uh, to s save in this uh, parameter. Not parameter. How do you call that? There was so... whatever. Whatever. Field. No. Uh, what the... they want to do? Want to do something. Yeah, death. I wanted death. Public. Void. Kill. Player. Bam. Which will get executed if health drops to zero, but that's implemented somewhere else. And what this does is it takes a player state dot leveled active Did I attach level data to any point? Or did I not? I feel like I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Never mind, I'm stupid. Yeah, I did. Okay, level data dot active level data. Okay. Uh, so we need to go to player stats. So level data dot active level data. Dot active checkpoint. Okay, wait. Uh, first of all, checkpoint. You get a new variable, which is public vector to spawn. No, it's fine. For now. Maybe I'll change it at some point. But for now, I think it's fine. Um, transform dot position equals dot position. Oh, transform dot position. Okay. Yeah, that's all kill player does, huh? For now, at least. So death barrier. What does Death Barrier do? Collision dot game object dot transform dot position. Vector zero. Hmm. I see. If collision dot game object dot tag equals Layer. Uh, else. Oh wait. 
to this first. Uh, what happens then? Okay, wait, never mind. It's. Uh, then we reset the player to. Yeah, okay. So. Collision dot game object dot get component player oh no never mind uh player stats yeah dot kill player bam okay easy as that so now the player gets re uh, reset to the checkpoint when he falls into the death barrier, but everything else gets just reset to back to zero. Currently, I don't know why. Maybe I changed that. Whoop. Easy. And that should also work when I activate this boy. Actually, can I jump over? Probably should be able to. Hey, jumped over it. Whoop, nice. Okay, now implement actual death. Player stats. So, uh, damage entity. Well, what will it do? Display health. Uh, if health is less than equals zero, then kill player. Okay, kill player should also um, heal basically the player. So it should yeah transforms the position then health equals max health and display health. Okay. Display health. Keeps giving me the wrong one. So now basically when he shoots me too long. Okay, give me there uh, yeah. He shoots me too long and I die. Okay, I think I'm gonna re uh, increase its fire rate. If I would die. Boom! Somehow I flew back from that, which is kind of cool, <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, okay. So currently we don't have any death animation, nothing fancy, but we do have that. Okay, now what do we do next? I guess we have to implement the goons movement and shit. Or yeah. Um, okay, let's first of all give the goon higher fire rate, yeah. Attack cooldown two. Maybe two is a little too fast. But we'll see. I'm just gonna check how fast he can kill me, basically. Bam. Yeah, that's that is probably even still a little slow. Also, no worries, he will get a shooting animation, like an effect or something, and obviously a sounds. So far, I have not implemented any sounds. My nose is itchy again. Maybe I'm allergic to streaming or something, because every time I stream, my nose gets edgy. Okay. We have that. Yeah, I was about to give the goon some uh, intelligence. Okay, we don't need that, that, or that. Oof. 
Okay, let's make a new function just for fun. Private void AI movement. Um, first of all, let's make him walk towards the player. Should I yoink the movement from the player? Player has pretty uh, good movement, so I'm not sure. Actually, the player has pretty normal movement. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, yoink, I'm gonna yoink it from the player. Just copy the entire move function. Why not? Bam. I mean, to be fair, there's a bunch of shit that is not gonna work for <laughs> this boy. Yeah, actually, I don't need all this shit. Okay, wait. So we have the move direction, which we are gonna... We, with the left-right axis, which is A and D, which we don't need, obviously. We don't have a model? Oh yeah, only combat state has the model, huh? Kun attacks. Yeah, we just copied that shit. And we don't need this anymore. If we even used it. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. <laughs> uh... Bam. Bam. Wait, I have all sprites and ghoul movement? Why do I have that? It's weird. Huh? Oh, right. For the, oh yeah, for the flipping. Yeah, I'm stupid. Of course, that's why. Player dot position. Uh, we have that differently now. Um, player state dot player. Yeah, that's what we do now. Okay, we don't need all this shit, pretty much. Okay, we don't need this shit. Don't need this shit. Yet at least. We actually also don't need this shit. <laughs> oh, I just realized that means I have to give them a rigid buddy. Oh. Do I do that? I could. I should probably. Yeah. I just did that. Uh, okay, I don't need that yet. So let's see. Um, we detect. Wait a second. Whoop. We just detect where the player is. Yeah, obviously. I mean, we have the player's position here, this boy. And then we. Uh, okay, wait. By the way, I think I'm gonna use player. A couple more times, so I'm not just gonna say, then uh, trend oh, private transform player because it's not very efficient if you constantly call the players uh, the player via another class basically. So player equals player state dot player then. Easy. Now, if we are a certain distance away from the player, and the player is in our detection radius, 
which is in here, which sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have split them. <laughs> that was a little stupid. I think I should just all throw them in the same uh, thing, in the same script. Okay, let's sh check out the goon real quick. So we go. That's the new direction of the goon public. Oh, just so I can take it. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> Okay, we, we redo that boy. Where's the scripts? Enemies. Let's make a new script. Goon. Oh wait, let's just call it simple goon. Okay. In simple goon, it's gonna have everything that goon attacks uh, has. God damn it, I fucked up. Bam. Bam. And it's also gonna have everything that Goon Movement has. Uh, yeah. Wait. Copy this part. Bam. We take this. This. This place it with this. Uh, okay, what else do we need? This entire thing. That's it. Now we have to fix all the errors in here, which there are none, which is great. <laughs> okay, now we attach that to that boy. Here, our simple goon. Move component, remove component. Okay, does he still work? Oh. Oh my gosh, what happened there? Okay, it's just the same thing. How did that happen? Huh? How did that happen? I am confused. We set player here. Player state should get executed. Yeah, that's that doesn't matter anyways. Is that like an error that I can occur? Player. Player stats. OK, 
Okay, I think I know the issue, maybe. Default time. That's the issue. I'm stupid. I thought these are faster, but that's the, the default time. <laughs> How did that happen? Is your cinema sheet pixel perfect? I can just say minus 99. So I have a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, and then this is. Oh no, I, I can't say that. Why? Come on, man. That's rude. Can I change the default time? Why can I not even... That's so not practical. <laughs> So this obviously wants to be before default time, and I can't change that for some reason. By the way, let's clear this com console. Yeah, it doesn't allow me to change it, which is stupid. Yeah, I can't, I can't do, huh? That is red, huh? <laughs> what? Why would that be? I just want those to be executed before default time. How is that so hard? I, I, yeah, I mean, I, maybe it's not bad if I execute it before the Unity Engine U2D cinematic pixel perfect, whatever that is, I guess, I don't know. Let's say minus 90. Okay. Cool. Let's just do that, I guess. I don't know. No. Oh, yeah. We don't need that anymore. Okay, now that works, right? Yeah. Good. We fixed everything. Good. <laughs> All right. And now. We can remove that. And also let's check if we find any other player state that player we do. I think that's all. Now, this is all just, yeah, this is all just combat, basically. Maybe I make a field. Combat. Oh no, a reach, I mean. Out of field. Region combat. Uh, firing cooldown. Yeah. I mean that's also. Nah, it's, I'm just gonna say that's not combat. They're checking if the player is on the right height level, basically. Uh, and region. We don't have anything else here. <sighs> I 
Where do I use the detection range again? Where's detect detection range? Uh, in... Shoot, okay. Okay. Let's maybe make the detection range 10. And then give a, make a function private void AI. What the fuck is that? AI movement. Let's just call it movement, whatever. So this is gonna get called next to shot. Uh, okay, then we make another float, which would be kind of like the f safe distance or something, the approach distance, no, I don't know. Um, hmm. Optimal distance. Distance. Equals... What's the optimal distance? Free float. And the the dude is gonna keep, try and keep um, the optimal distance, basically. So. How do we do that? I think for the distance, he's just gonna look look at the x value. So we aren't gonna use the vector dot two uh, vector two dot distance because that would be in all directions, and that could mean that's confusing, obviously. <laughs> for the AI unit. So he's just gonna try and walk to you for now on the X axis. So if player dot position dot X um wait actually this one, oh, oh, I that. so we have our x value, we have the player's x value, we need to determine the distance basically. So even negative is if the player's x position is lower than the goons. So we subtract, yeah, we subtract our transform dot position dot x from that and if that is oh the maths yeah okay wait <laughs> maths dot abs And if that is um, so, yeah. Okay, wait. Three is our optimal range. If that is bigger than the optimal range, optimal distance, then we move. Uh, okay. Now let's get. This goon. Oh, the goon has a rigid body. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Uh, let's get that rigid body then. This is a little bit chaotic here. 
so uh, hmm. instantiation po position. Okay, region combat and region. So now we can just do this. Oh, yeah, let's put that out of combat, because that's not solely combat, there's general stats. And this too. Okay, um, private, rigid, Rigid body 2D Goon Rigid <laughs> uh, Goon Rigid equals get component Come on Rigid body 2D Okay now we have the Goon's rigid body and we just yoink the way the player moves Bam. Bam. Uh, and wait. Boom. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. Uh, player rigid with goon rigid. One, two, three. All right. Now we need some stats. Uh, move direction. We're just gonna flip with view direct. No, bullshit. No, actually, right. View direction. Just that. View direction. View direction. Uh, I'm gonna handle the, the errors later. <laughs> okay, the movement uses a bunch of stuff, which I'm probably just gonna yoink. Okay, but we make it slower. So you only get to move at 1.5, maybe 2, not 1.5 lot. Oops. Okay. So also we need to make sure, yeah, okay, yeah. We'd already make sure basically. Uh, we should make sure that the players in detection range so if, oh wait, player, wait, no, vector two dot distance, right, do I do that? Shoot, I just copy that. Then. All right, also what I want to do is, um, if the player's uh, walking, he can't shoot, but he will try to prioritize shooting over walking. Uh, and obviously if he shoots, he also can't walk. <laughs> yeah. I believe I have a state for that. I, I don't have a state yet. Uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna let him shoot while walking. Because who cares? <laughs> so, while the player is in detection range, uh, and the. Uh, yeah, while the player is in detection range, the goon is gonna walk to him because the view direction is automatically. 
uh, determined, pretty much. I don't even know what I'm what, what I'm looking at right now. Okay, what I'm do am I doing? So if the goon rigid dot velocity dot x is less than speed, and view direction is more than zero. Or if the velocity to x is more than negative speed. Okay, I get it now, yeah. We are only accelerating uh, as long as we are below our speed limit. Uh, and move direction is less than zero. Or in this case, view direction. Okay, that should kind of work. <laughs> Let's see. And he'll only do that until he is at optimal range, pretty much. Look at this dude. He just did it. He just walked up to me. He just fucking walked up to me. Yeah, he's a little fast though. I don't know, maybe... Ah, oh, it's fine, actually. He's pretty slow, now that I think about it. Yeah, looks so smooth, especially the way he walks. By the way, okay, wait. Yeah, I can roll through bullets, and uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Although I think obviously I'm dodging, so I should probably oh fuck make the bullet realize that I am not hittable. You know? So the bullet should just pass through me when I'm uh dodging. Okay, scripts. Where do we have enemies? Objector. Okay, so we need the entity, entity script and we are gonna tell the entity script that we have a um, boolean is invincible and if that is the case then we don't destroy ourselves. So, uh, if call object dot get component entity dot is invincible, then return. Easy as that. Okay, now we need to add that to the simple goon who isn't even... Yeah. I just realized that. He's not even a... Okay, wait. <laughs> enemy. Is it tagged an enemy? Is it tagged an enemy? Yeah, yeah okay, I get that. Uh, so we need to go here and we say, yo, you also take shit from entity. How do you call that again? I forgot the word straight up, just implement. Yeah, implement from entity. Uh, bam, give me that. Heal entity. Yeah, we just return for all those for now because we can't damage him yet 
uh, turn false. Player stats. Come on, give me the quick fix. Why does it not go give it to me? Oh well. Uh, let's put that at the bottom, actually. Put that into a new region that is Entity. And there's also another one that is public. Void is invinc invincible. <laughs> Boolean. Return player date dot invincible. Now, if the player hits, uh, the projectile hits a player that is invincible, it shouldn't get destroyed, but pass right through him. Or that happens. Ha! Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. That sucks. What I could also do is uh, put projectiles and everything that deals damage on a layer that is uh, damage, called damage or something. Ah, that's weird. I don't know, man. Yo, that's weird. Yo, that's weird. The thing is, I like how the, when the projectile hits the player, the player gets shoved back a little bit. I kind of like that. That automatically gives it effect. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put projectile into a, its own category. Wait. So, prefabs, projectile, head layer. I don't know why these aren't used. Damage. Now, can we change this encode? Wait, project settings, physics 2D. I want to encode, say, yo, damage. You don't collide with player anymore. And then revert that back. Okay, uh, You're gonna be okay kid. layer collision matrix. Can I do that? Public void invincible pool state. Play state equals state, uh, play invincible equals state, okay. Uh, that changes that, and what we also want to do is 
physics 2d dot layer no. layer collision matrix but I don't think it's called the same thing right get ignore layer collisions get layer collision mask Okay, let's look that up. Uh, here. Unity edit layer collision matrix code. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Uh, layer collision matrix, yeah. Hmm. What's that one? What's that do? Public static void, ignore layer collision. And layer one, layer two. Makes the collision detection system ignore all collisions between any collider in layer one and any collider in layer two. Okay, that's kind of what I want, but I, how do I turn that back off, basically, or back on the collision? can set the default values for your project for any layer combinations in physics and physics. Okay, so let's see. Dot What's it called? Layer collision. Get ignore ignore layer collision. So what's bool ignore equals true if i do put that on false then it doesn't ignore anymore so if we uh, say integer layer one integer layer two the problem with the integers uh, i've kind of had the experience that it didn't really work so we have seven and nine so seven and nine should work and then bool ignore oh and that state i mean right said should be enough so if invincible is true then ignore is true okay and technically this boy doesn't have to do this anymore let's see how that that's gonna work out so far damage and Player collide here. Yeah. Okay. Nice, it works. Do you see that? We roll right through it. Hey, it works. You got confused. <laughs> oh no, I got hit. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, that was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, yeah. And yeah, but no, dude, it works perfectly. Easy. Easy clap. That's good to know also. That can be used for a lot of things, I think. Temporarily, temporarily disable the collision between, between things. Okay, what else? So this guy walks up to him, which is pretty cool. Um, what is the range of oh, his attacks? Yeah, he shoots at detect range. But he walks up very close. I think that's a little close. Let's make this a little further away. 
because he's getting a little close and personal here. Nice. That's too far away. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Uh, we can increase the duration of the projector. Lifetime, two seconds. I think I made it way too short anyways. You know what, let's give him three second lifetime and, uh, and tell the simple goon to give it a little bit less speed. Like this and then you should be able to shoot from there oh yeah now they are kind of more comfortable to dodge and uh, he shoots a lot further <laughs> Okay, now I think you should have lost um, me, basically. Can you, sh can you push this back? You can, that's fucking cool. <laughs> and currently he doesn't have a walking animation, but yeah. And he's gonna at some point learn how to jump. Just not yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How did the music stop again? I feel like I just unpaused it. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give him a walking animation yet, I think. Anything else I want to do? I mean, I guess improve his AI. <laughs> like, for example, only shoot if he's uh, if he's standing, and only move if he's not shooting, which should be easy to do. Uh, we need two states. Hashtag and region. Uh, stupid? Oh, yeah. It's fine. Hashtag region. Goon states. And we have private. Boolean. Moving. Equals false. Uh, yeah. And shooting. Well, let's call it firing, firing, because I think that's also what I called it in uh, in the animator. Yeah. Oh fuck! God damn it, dude. Um, shooting. Firing equals true. And false. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, that works, that works. Okay, so, wait. Okay, yeah, 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 wait. Moving equals true. Uh, else, if basically if we cannot move because we are already close enough or whatever, 
Let's wait. I don't need all this shit. Why does this look so scuffed? Something is scuffed about this. Yep, these are off. Why? Who did that? Who did that? Let's moving the good spots. Okay. Oh, and of course for movement and shoot, we need to check uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. As long as the player is not moving, uh, the player, the goon is not moving, he can shoot, and then as long as the goon is not firing, he can move. Uh, now, We do wanna... Do wanna... Pref uh, we do prefer shooting. So... Actually, I think... Yeah, okay, wait. Um... Okay, actually we wanna, what we wanna do with shoot uh, is we wanna check uh, that obviously while we are moving... Hmm. Yeah, that's stupid, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that for now. So what we should see is him stopping to shoot so he can move. Okay, now he's shooting. And he cannot shoot because he's moving. Now he's, he's shooting, so he cannot move. Okay, yeah, and as you also can see, he, while he's shooting in the firing animation, he cannot move. Cool. <laughs> okay. Maybe I reduce his range, actually. Uh, so we go here. Optimal distance, 3.5. I should come a little closer. Oui. 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 <laughs> okay. I don't know, I'm not very happy with the rolling though. For some reason it's delayed. If you're walking, you roll, sometimes it's just delayed, the animation, which is super weird. Shoot me! Ouch. <laughs> Root. How do we give the spoon an actual air? Yeah. <laughs> so we should basically have priorities. Uh, hmm. I mean, one of them is the optimal distance one. Should always try to achieve currently, but uh, we can kind of manage 
I think is AI with prior priorities. Um, like, I don't know. Yeah, how? <laughs> Good question. You should learn how to jump and stuff, you know. Because he's just walking to me. And that's all. And he doesn't have a walk animation. Or a jump animation, obviously. Because I kind of jump. <laughs> um, we could be cheap and just be like, uh, oh, if you cannot... Huh. Oh yeah, we can compare the optimal dis... No, that's weird. I don't know. Well, I was thinking about like you, we could compare the actual distance with the optimal distance. Um, because what we do is we, for for the walking, to reach the optimal distance, we just use the x value. Intentional because um, the AI could be get, could get confused if you use the actual distance. Although now that I think about it, that's not true because I've changed something. <laughs> That is not true anymore because I changed it in a way where it works, right? Yeah, because th the moment he leaves the uh, detection range, he will stop. So it doesn't matter. So we could use uh, that, I guess. <laughs> but then we would have him literally, like, if I'm standing above him, uh, he would start going left, right. Literally in each frame, you know, like this. <laughs> Pretty much. I think this is a good example of what, what the goon would look like if I'm standing above him. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we. Don't do the flat out distance with vector distance, you know? I think the way we implemented optimal range is okay. But we could then see. Oh, yeah, we can just compare the Y levels. Because we want to reach the Y level of the player. Uh, okay, maybe, you know what? Or maybe I just look up some pathfinding algorithms <laughs> and do that. But I'll, I'll do that off stream, I think. I, I'm getting a little hungry here, and uh, I have to pee, and so I'm ending. Yeah, that's the entire story. Bye. Have a great night. <laughs>